Hello friends. Happy evening. Thank you for being with me. Let's start to know more about the Independence Day of India. Various views how it is interpreted, how it is celebrated how, and how it is taken into account by all the Indians. Flowers are there as being patient listeners. So now start with the journey of listening a story from Sudha Murthy's Wise and Otherwise with the title What is a Red Letter Day? A Holiday. The 15th of August is a red letter day for all of us. That day in 1947, we earned our freedom from long foreign rule after many people had sacrificed their lives for it. Even children, women and old people had participated in that struggle at great cost to themselves. However, most of them are not remembered today. Their sta statues are not erected and no poems are written about their sacrifices. They are unsung heroes. They died so that we could live in a free India. To mark this as a memorable day, our government has declared Independence Day as an important national holiday. On 15th August, we are to remember our martyrs and celebrate our freedom. Normally, lectures and seminars about our independence struggle are arranged in schools and government offices. There are flag hoisting ceremonies at which patriotic songs are sung. Children enjoy and remember this special day. One Independence Day, I was on one of my week-long tours in a rural area in Karnataka. That year, 15th August fell on a Friday. I thought I would visit some schools and participate in their celebrations. As I was staying in a town, I had to go to the bus stand to travel to a village school 7 kilometers away. At the bus stand, I met the headmaster of one of the schools I wanted to visit. He was very happy to see me and greeted me warmly. He had one of those faces that reflect feelings, a rather rare phenomenon. There are people whose feelings you cannot gauze by looking at their faces. In such cases, it seems like there is no connection between their hearts and their brains. You cannot make out what such people are thinking. This is common in big cities. In smaller places, people are usually more open. The headmaster seemed to be in a hurry. Madam, are you going to Bangalore? He asked eagerly. Then he followed up his question with an explanation. If you are not working on Saturday, this is going to be a long weekend. So I thought that instead of staying here, you may be going back to Bangalore. No, I am not going to Bangalore, I said. I have a week's work in this area. It is a waste of time to go and come back. There was a trace of disappointment on his face and I was curious to know the reason. He explained, oh, I thought I could travel with you. I am leaving for Bangalore. Suddenly, I remembered that it was 15th August. Wait a minute, I said. Today is 15th August. Aren't you celebrating Independence Day in your school? This must be a great event for teachers and students with flag hoisting, parades and patriotic songs. He did not look enthusiastic at all. No, this is a ritual every year and a sheer waste of time. The same drill and the same patriotic songs in my 20 years of service and 10 transfers, I have grown bored with these national holidays. We cannot close the school either. As per instructions from the higher education department, we have to conduct all these activities. I wish they would make it a complete holiday like Diwali or Christmas. I realized that he was unhappy. So I asked him, why are you going to Bangalore? I want to go and stay there for two days and find out who is concerned with my transfer to the district headquarters. My daughter wants to study computer science. 
Don't you think it is a good idea to study computer science and get a job? If a girl is a graduate in computer science, then getting a groom will be easy. Perhaps he was more of a father than a headmaster. What he was talking about did not really register with me because I was still thinking about Independence Day. Who will conduct today's functions in your school? I asked. He looked at me with pity. What is there in a function? I have told my assistant master to conduct this ritual. I prepared speeches for this day 20 years ago. Nothing has changed. So he can read the same speech. I have not even gone to the school. The students are not interested in the speeches or in the celebrations. There is a new film in the tent near our village. They would like to go there. Nobody is bothered about Independence Day. I was immersed in my thoughts. Then the bus came. There was a rush and the headmaster ran to get a seat. He waved to me and got in. The bus left in a cloud of dust. I returned to Bangalore the following week. I went to a friend's house for dinner. She is also a teacher, so we have many things in common. Both of us are so immersed in work that we hardly meet, even though we live in the same city. We have found that the best way to meet once in a while is to have dinner together. I asked her, how did you and your school celebrate 15th August? She looked sad. It was horrible. We teachers went to the school early in the morning for the flag hoisting. We had invited a senior government official to be the chief guest. Poor chap. He had prepared a long speech and come on time, but dot dot dot, she stopped. The memory of my meeting with the headmaster of the village school a week earlier was still fresh in my mind. Was there any problem with the headmistress? Did she come? I asked. Yes, our headmistress is a nice person. She was on time, although she was suffering from high fever. It was our students who didn't come. Though our school has more than a thousand students, only about 50 of them turned up that day. Why? It happened to be a long weekend. Parents took their children away on holiday. Many students who stayed in Bangalore were seen at the theatres. Apparently, there, were, there was heavy rush at video shops as well that day. It was a bad show in front of our chief guest. Wasn't attendance mandatory? Yes, we sent notices stating that children must be brought to school that day. But what is the use? They will just produce false medical certificates. At times, I feel we should just not have a holiday on 15th August or 26th January. We should have regular school and one or two periods can be used for the function. Today, it has become a holiday only to make merry, not a day to remember the saga of our leaders. What do you think? I did not know what to say. Two different kinds of experiences narrated by Sudhaji about Independence Day are quite clearly stating the differential treatment that the day is getting these days. It is our responsibility, being responsible citizens of India, to celebrate these two days in a great joyous mood and wider celebrations. Let's take this as a lesson so that we as responsible parents also teach our children to be sincere enough about our Red Letter Day, our Independence Day. Jai Hind! Stay connected. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.